Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, I decided to do something, well, I have been thinking about doing this a while ago, and I just didn't know how well it would go over, but since it's very slow in terms of news cycle and everything that's going on, um, I said, what the heck, why not? Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. And, uh, well, this video is... We're going to take a look at, well, oh, you saw it on the title card, what's new on Game Pass. So we're going to take a look at some of the new games, uh, look at the trailers, and I'll give you my impressions, uh, what I've heard, maybe if they're worth playing or not, and well, let's dive into it. Okie dokie, so we're on the recently added page, um, and from my understanding, the first about, th uh, I guess, three rows are pretty much what's new, because we have a couple of games down here that were here a little while ago, a couple weeks, but we're going to go through all these, and well, Halo, as you can see, I'm actually installing it, even though I've already been playing it. I have not installed it on my Series S here. So, uh, we've got Arc Veil. Let's take a look at what this could be. Launch trailer, no screenshot. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Take up your weapon in this RPG bullet. Oh, okay, it's bullet hell. Let's take a look. RPG bullet hell. How's that going to work? Okay. One thing that bothers me when you've got games like this that they try too hard to make it look 8 or 16 bit and it just doesn't. And it has this weird mobile game kind of look, or if like Minecraft, I guess 2D Minecraft. I I don't like these style games because that's it's like they try too hard to make it look retro, and maybe it's made by people who've never played retro games because that's not what they look like. Ah, this does nothing for me. So maybe if you liked it, hey, there you go. Uh, rubber Bandits. Not every heist goes as planned. Okay. Interesting. Let's take a look. The perfect plan? Check. The perfect gear? Check. Uh, yes. Wow. The perfect disguise? Oh, come on. Banana suit. As much as you can. And... Lightsaber. Escape with the loot. Play solo or gang up with other bandits in co-op. Escape bandits, switch sides, and play as the cops. Ready to bust your friends. 25 <laughs> levels to infiltrate in heist, arcade, and brawl modes. Collect loot to unlock new bandit content. It looks like uh, the whole rubber aspect is uh, ragdoll physics and stuff like that. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. That, that might be worth a download. And well, Final Fantasy 13 2, that's been out for a long time. And I personally, I wasn't a big fan of the, the thir Lightning Returns or 13 2. 13 was okay in itself. Lawn Mowing Simulator. It's funny because I covered this. Uh, a while ago when it was announced. I think it was earlier this year. Because... Uh, that's exactly what I want to do. I get a lot of sims, but... 
lawn mowing. All right, you mowed the lawn. Way to go. <laughs> curved digital it must be curved in the head to want to play this game I don't know what that means but something ain't right up there if you want to play a game lawnmower play cutting good for it I, I guess somebody wants to play it it wouldn't be out and it wouldn't have been greenlit if someone didn't want to play it. Now this one, I'm like, okay, Warhammer, 40k Battle Sector. Slytherin LTD, wow. No, I didn't mean to install, I hit the wrong thing. Oh well. So it looks like I'm installing it. Hmm, okay. Souls live, fight, and die. Ooh, audio's them. cutting out. I don't know if it's just my mic. There is no hope. Or if it's the whole thing, I don't know. For hope breeds despair. And I bought a new headset, too. Do they have like a toyetic look? I shouldn't say toyetic, a toy look. Because toyetic is something different. No, no, they look like action figures. Or like miniature action figures. I don't know. They look like toys. There is no salvation. But that granted by. Yeah, it looks like you're playing with miniatures. The only righteous power. So it's just a standard is the Warhammer game? Of his enemies. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. I I guess so, so it's just like any other. Warhammer, apparently I'm going to be playing it. <laughs> no, I'm actually going to uninstall that. That was a mistake. Uh, Stardew Valley, for those of you, this has been out for a long time. For those of you that like Harvest Moon and games like that, uh, this might be a good one for you, but in a very 16-bit uh, style. This is more of an actual 16-bit style. Uh, Town Scraper. Okay, so you build a town. Instant town building toy. No. Okay. So there is no trailer. All right. So what's Anvil Vault Breaker? No trailer either. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's, a, oh, it's game preview. Looks like an RTS kind of thing. Not 100% sure. Maybe dun Dungeon Crawler? Hmm. Doesn't say the genre. Let's take a closer look. Ah, uh, Dungeon Crawler. Looks like a Dungeon Crawler, yeah. That. Yeah. We'll see. Evil Genius 2 World Domination. Uh, I didn't know there was a first one, but okay. Oh, it's all like it's a, it's a sim. Uh, Sci-fi or Lair Builder. Okay. Sim. Generation Zero. This is a mech game. If I'm not mistaken, this came out a while ago. I think... Yeah, it's a mech game. I own this. I think I own this game. Or at least a version of Generation Zero. 
physically. Oh, it's Sweden. Avalanche, okay, Apex. Um, for a bunch of people just, you know, shooting guns, they just have no emotion on their face. That's what that, yeah. Yeah, four people taking out a mech. Nineteen eighty-nine. Our end is their beginning. Coming twenty nineteen. Apparently, it's been out for two years. Xbox Uno mind scanners. So a number of these, if if you look. They actually tell you Game Pass, so that'll be Xbox One, Series XS. Uh, on all those have cloud that has a cloud. That's funny. Okay, uh, XS XS. Okay, it's mind scanners. Uh, greetings, your mind requests. It looks like a puzzle game. Puzzle game. Puzzle or one of those. Yeah, it's a puzzle with narrative. Very Sega Saturn, no Sega CD kind of games. But with visuals that, no offense, I just think look like crap. Not in type of games like that. Now this is one I was actually going to download and play. Because this, I'm going to hit install. Because I thought this game looked hilarious. Become an average everyday deer and stretch your neck out a bit. Yes, because deers have guns for antlers. Average everyday deers. I actually saw this trailer on PlayStation or Switch, I can't remember which one. And I was like, oh, alright, visuals are interesting. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a deer! What? No! It kind of reminds me of like a, an extremely wackier goat simulator. Kaiju deer. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Deer simulator. Average everyday deer game. I am actually going to make a video of this one. We'll do a gameplay. Because this looks epic. So there you go. Playism. Oh, it's, oh, it's small. It's only one gigabyte. Mortal Shell. That came out. That's a Souls type game. This came out a while ago. Oh, at least it's an XS one. Yeah, this is the one they're actually giving away for free in December for PlayStation owners. Or you can just have the XS, XS version here through Game Pass. Which I would say this would be the better one. You again, stranger. Do you tire of the hunt? I played it for a little bit, and I'm not into Souls type games, but the game did look really good. I mean, the the game looks really good. So, do we have an accord? Yeah, I would say it does look face the beasts again. It does look pretty good. Deep action RPG. Oh, that's interesting. I never did that. I only played the game for like an hour or so. From the things I've read, it's a it's Souls esque, but it's a, a bit easier. Mortal shell. Cool concept. That husk that you're in actually takes over. Uh, 
I guess, people or warriors. And then you use their bodies as a shell, hence the moral shell. It's pretty cool. Uh, before we leave... Uh, before we leave is a city building game set in a cozy corner of the universe. Okay. Eh, not my type of game. Sim. There you go. Oh, Team 17. Guys who made worms. Undungeon. Uh, one of those other ones. Sorry, I'm going to skip this one. Flight Simulator. Game of the Year. I have that. And I'm not exactly sure, because actually you can see I have it installed what they added for game of the year edition so I will check that out I think I'm gonna do another video of this might do a live stream or something like that sorry about not doing live streams live streams will pick up again in January XO one okay this I gotta see because there's like nothing strange signal on alien craft XO one is an interplanetary gravity defying journey through space and time Looks nice. Future friends, games, and expletive. Three gigabytes. Cloud gaming enabled with Game Pass Ultimate. So it's just an exploration game. Um, maybe the game's more fun than the trailer looks? Looks pretty. Why am I thinking, never-ending story? Okay, may maybe. Oh, my friend Pedro. And these were games that have come out in the previous drop. So, of course, San Andreas, the Definitive Edition. One Step to Eden. These have been out for a while. I don't know why they put these up here. These have been out for at least a month or so. So, there you go. Let's t That's uh, what's recently been dropped on Xbox Game Pass in the last week or some change. I think it was all this week. Everything we just looked at. So, there you guys go. Tell me what you think. Did this help you out at all? Um, do you think you're going to play any of these? After looking at those trailers, I'm definitely going to do Deer Simulator. Uh, maybe the Warhammer. Maybe Rubber Bandits. And maybe X01. So, hey. A couple of uh, things to keep in mind, take a look at. And while you're at it, if you've played any of these... Tell me what you think. Drop it in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Well, if you think it's necessary. <laughs> uh, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Check us out over there. Make sure you head to our spring shop. Link in the description below where you can get all kinds of great Red Bandana Gaming merch. Just like this shirt here. Again, hit that subscribe button. Like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again.